Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. It's a beautiful resort. Look, Rob, we've only got one week off, and I want to make sure I'm going to have some fun. Now, what kind of facilities do they have at this place? You name it. What do you want? Uh, Justice of the Peace, a bungalow full of bachelors. <laughs> that kind of facilities. Look, my friend Sam tells me the place is loaded with single men. Ooh, loaded single men. That's the best kind. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Oh, good. Now, how about you, buddy? Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. It's the opening week of a brand new hotel, and you're going to be doing an old army buddy of mine a big favor. Look, you all know Sam, and he really needs us up there. Yeah, I guarantee you, you're going to have a ball. It's a big hotel. You won't even have to socialize with each other. <laughs> okay, you got me. And you'll be with your wives. You just lost me. <laughs> come on, buddy. Okay, we'll go. Oh, good. I like the food, eat the furniture. It's a lovely place, all right, but it looks like they're a bit short on bellboys. Welcome! Welcome! Hi, Sam, how are you? Hi, Laura, how are you? Nice to see you. Sam, I think you know everybody. Gang, this is my old army buddy, Sam Pomerantz, the owner of the hotel. Hi, Sam. Is he the owner or is this the whole hotel? <laughs> Is Danny Brewster appearing here at night? Yes, he is. Danny Brewster appears day and night. Ta-da! Hey, 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 what time's the show go on? Right now. Yeah. Hey, listen, you can help me. I want to rehearse for my opening tonight. I'll tell you what, I'm going to impersonate anybody in the whole world, as long as it's on this card. All right? <laughs> read them off. Just read them right off. All right, uh, Elliot Ness. Okay. All right, Nitty. I want to be your friend. I'd like to help you if you'll give me that gun. <laughs> All right, just for that, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> hey, look, Jackie Leonard. Jackie Leonard. Ah, uh, good evening, opponent. Uh, I want to say that my wife goes to bed every night with mud on her face. Mud, mud, mud. I say good night, Swamp. <laughs> Bobby Darren. Bobby Darren. Dean <laughs> Martin. Dean Martin. Ooh, ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> Jack Parr. <laughs> Jack Benny. Jack Benny. Well. <laughs> Shelly Berman. Coffee, tea, or meh. <laughs> Crazy Guggenheim. Crazy Guggenheim. I was just hanging around. I wasn't doing nothing. Just <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, how about that? JFK, the president. The president, JFK. <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> You're the guy that gave it to my brother. Not Cagney, Kennedy. My brother, Bobby. <laughs> My brother Bobby says that half this nation voted for me, and half this nation voted for my opponent, which goes to prove that he who gets the last half gets the last laugh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, madam, yes. Mr. President, uh, can you do an impersonation of a bellboy taking our bags up to our room? Yeah, yeah how about uh, it? Uh, let, let me make a judgment on that. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, if you will all lift up your own bags with courage and vigor, and uh, follow the Kennedy of your choice. We'll move onward to the new frontier and your rooms. Thank you and good afternoon. Hey, we're the first ones down. Well, let's say we go out in the court and start falling. Honey, let's wait for the real tennis players. Well, thank you, Poncho. Well, how long are you going to be here? A few days? I want to get in a few fast volleys before you and I... <laughs> Who are you going to play with? Well, I think between Mel and Buddy, I can get a good workout. Tally ho! <laughs> well, I hope Mel can play. <laughs> Lead me to the tennis field. <laughs> the tennis field? Yeah, it's been a long time since I used this old mallet of mine. <laughs> can I see your mallet? Sure. <laughs> It's a beauty. Hey, what'd you do? You took it apart. Well, I took the cover off, Betty. Just took the cover off. Now it's no good anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just brought it along for laughs. Beauty, isn't it? Hi, there. Hi, Sally. Hi. Well? <laughs> Sometimes it's best not to say anything. <laughs> oh, can I have my tennis ball back, please? Can't your children play someplace else? Sally, <laughs> aren't you going to play tennis? Only as a last resort. 
And I think here comes Mr. Last Resort himself. <laughs> oh, Mel? Yeah. Hey, how about some tennis? Oh, I'd love to. Good, let's go. Yeah, right after my bossa nova lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Well, honey, I guess it looks like you and me. Fine. Right after my bossa nova lesson. <laughs> Hi, Rob. What can I do for you? Sam, can you get me a tennis partner? Well, I can sure try. I'll call up a pro. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hi, Rob. Hey, Sam, can I get my key? Uh, never mind, <laughs> Sam. Boy, that's what I call a service. Come on, Danny, you and me, and we're gonna play some tennis. Oh, Rob, I just played two sets. Really, you better get yourself another partner. There isn't another partner east of Wimbledon. Rob, I'm pooped. I gotta beg off. Oh, come on, just just one set. I can't. A game? Really, I... A, will you volley? A serve? Will you jump over the net and shake my hand? <laughs> Rob, I'm too tired to even walk into the water cooler. Hey, Rob, Rob, don't make him play. He's gotta do a show for me tonight. Well, one game's not gonna do any harm. I tell you what, Danny, I'll make a deal with you. If you'll volley with me for 15 minutes, I'll write you five new jokes. How about 10 minutes for 10 jokes? <laughs> no deal. Let's go. Danny, be careful. Rob, don't knock out my comedian. Hey, Sam, how's it going, Robbie, buddy? Oh, fine, Rob, fine. Say, uh, how did the tennis game go? Oh, great. <clears throat> just, uh, just great. Say, Sam, uh, who else is on the bill tonight besides Danny Brewster? Uh, no one. He's a whole show in himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sam, you know, you remember back in the old army days, we used to do that Laurel and Hardy impression? Oh, who could forget that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam, you know what I was thinking? No, what? Wouldn't it be fun tonight, just for old time's sake, if you and I on the show did the Laurel and Hardy bit? You're kidding. No, I really mean it. The, the guests would be very impressed with you. You know what else I could do? I could get Sally maybe to get up and sing a couple of songs, get Buddy up to tell some jokes, and maybe I could get Laura to do one of the old soft shoes with us. Huh? Oh, would you? Ah, oh, listen, I'd love to. What do you say? I don't know what to say. It's sensational. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with a show like this, we don't even need Danny Brewster. Sam, I'm very happy to hear you say that. <laughs> Why? I, uh... I just had a uh, hard overhand smash to Danny's mouth. You did what? Sam, did you know his front teeth are capped? You mean they... they fell off? Uh, yeah, and he, uh, he uh, stepped on them. Oh, my. Where is he now? Well, he's speeding to the nearest dentist. And it had to be on an opening night. Look, Sam, don't worry about a thing. We're gonna take care of you. Look, you just get the band in the casino right now. Okay, okay, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try and talk to my friends into giving up their vacations. I wanna be around to pick up the pieces when somebody breaks your heart. When somebody twice as smart as I As somebody who will swear to be true Like you used to do with me Who'll leave you to learn that misery loves company Wait and see She does it when she breaks your heart to bits. Let's see if the puzzle fits so fine. And that's when I'll discover that revenge is sweet. As I sit there applauding from a front row seat. When somebody breaks your heart like you broke mine. She does it when she breaks your heart to bits. Let's see if the puzzle fits so fine. And that's when I'll discover that revenge is sweet. As I sit there applauding from a 
front row seat when somebody breaks your heart. Now, Sam Pomerantz asked me to welcome you here to his little sanitarium, where the, uh, well, the food is untouched by human hands. The chef is an armadillo. And he said to remember, no matter how tough the steaks are, you can always stick your fork in the gravy. Hey, if you like the place, look around. I was done by Frank Lloyd Wrong. It's done kind of uh, early, forget it. But the rooms are beautiful. The rooms are lovely. I got a room with an adjoining. I don't know what it's adjoining. I can't get the door open. <laughs> hey, it's homey. Do you notice the little signs over the beds? It says, sleep here and the angels watch over you. A couple of them bit me. <laughs> My wife's here tonight. She just came from the beauty parlor, had her head pumped up. <laughs> Very hard to get her out. You know, somebody gave her a lovely gift, a big cart and a steel wool. She's been staying home, knitting a foreign car. <laughs> oh, she's a doll. And let me tell you something, the world's worst cook, the worst. One night, she says to me, how do you fix frankfurters? I says, I don't know. I guess the same way you fix fish. She says, I tried it. Once you clean out those weenies, there's nothing left. <laughs> she says, oh, and I never saw anybody likes to eat like this. One night, she dreamed that she ate an eight-pound marshmallow, woke up the next day, half the pillow was gone. <laughs> all, all right, honey. OK, I'll, I better get down there before she eats the table. Thanks, folks. <laughs>
chair and sit down. <laughs> now remember, when the waiter comes, don't order anything because you only have enough money for one meal. So I'll order, and then we'll split it. Right, Stanley? That's right, Ollie. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you do have the dollar, don't you, Stanley? I certainly do. Well, then let me see it. Say, Ollie, can I stand up? <laughs> of course you can stand up. <laughs> what did you do with it, Stanley? Well, I don't remember. I, I forgot. Well, then think. <laughs> Say, Ollie, what was I thinking about? The dollar! Did you look in your hat? <laughs> Is that it? Yes, that's it. Now just hold on to it. You gents ready to order? We certainly are. Yes, we certainly are. I'd like a nice thick steak smothered with onions, <laughs> sweet potatoes, turnip greens. Waiter, cancel that order. I will have the blue plate special with a sarsaparilla float. And some tutti frutti ice cream. <laughs> My friend just wants water. He's on a diet. Say, Ollie, what time is it? Why, it's just about a quarter. <laughs> oh, Stanley, uh, what time do you have? Well, it's about half. <laughs> your name? Alice. My mother's name was Alice. No, it wasn't. It was Sarah. <laughs> that was my mother's second name on my father's side. Say, have you gotten any tutti frutti chewing gum? I certainly do, and that'll be five cents, please. Keep the change. <laughs> Lovely child. <laughs> Stanley, do you know what you just did? You nincompoop! What are you doing giving away our last dollar? It's the only thing we had for I'm a sorry, meal. I'm sorry, Ollie. I Give me my hat. She was such a pretty lady. Here. Hold my hat. Now give me yours. Say, what are you going to do, Ollie? I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Why don't you put some peas in it? <laughs> That's a good idea. Hello again, big boy. Would you like to go dancing? <laughs> I certainly would. Here, ah! let me hold your tray for you while you change. Stanley, I'm going dancing. <laughs> Put my hat on my head. 
Put my hat on my head. My music is so gay And everybody dances When they hear me play My trombone, my trombone They love to hear my trombone Da, 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 da,